You can even hit the buttons that are displayed here on the screen. So I'll hit that button to answer the call. I can put it on hold. And then once the screen refreshes, I can resume the call. I can transfer it. And the buttons over here off to the side work as well. You don't just have to rely on the other buttons that are over here. What's actually on the screen actually works like as if you were at the phone. It's amazing software. Go check it out. You're going to love it. Hello everyone and thank you for coming to check out this video. I have another remote phone control video for you here, but this one is even better than the last, significantly better than the last one. Now, in the last one I showed how to remotely control the phones through the CLI, and that's really just kind of cumbersome. It just doesn't really cut it. It's good for certain scenarios, but this one is way better. Let me show you first what I did. I made a local user, I just clicked add new, and created a user with the user ID RPC. I gave it a password of Cisco. And then I went ahead and associated all of my uh, phones with this user. I also gave this user a lot of the permissions. The only one I didn't give it was a secure CTI something or other. Now, if you're doing this in a production environment, you'll probably want to have a better password. You will probably want to have far less um, groups and roles in a production environment, but I'm doing this in a lab. The other thing that you'll do is um, navigate to your phone in uh, CUCM and then click on the IP address over here to the right. That will open up a new window. And, and this window here will actually be where we remotely control the phone. But this is what it looks like before you've enabled the Firefox add-on. Once we go here, and enable the Cisco phone controller by Anthony Holloway, which by the way, I've had the pleasure of meeting him at Cisco Live and I got to be a little bit of a fanboy and tell him about how much I appreciate what all he puts out there and um, how much he helps on the support forums. Actually, here he is on Twitter if you wanna go and follow him there. But let's get back to uh, the topic at hand. I'm going to add this to Firefox and then once that is done being added to Firefox, uh, I will go back here to this page and now it says control me. It's going to ask me for the username and password, which needs to be a user associated with the phone. That's why on the end user page, you could see that I had associated all the phones. Here is why this is just 1 million times better than doing it through the CLI the way that I was talking about it you can just make a phone call, right? So we're at 2003. There should be a phone with a directory number 2000. Let's hit make call. And let me see if I can find the phone with directory number 2000, uh, right down here at the bottom. So I should now be able to control this one and put in the same RPC, Cisco. And then here I can actually click on the screen and hit answer. Now the resolution isn't so great on this one, but it really doesn't even matter. And the fact that I can hit the soft keys here in the screen to end the call or put it on hold or do whatever, to me, that is just absolutely amazing. I love this software. We can even hit the, the line buttons over here. But uh, as you can see, I hit these line buttons off to the side and um, I can just dial. Let me do that again. I'll click this button off here to the side and I'll dial two, zero, zero, zero. So now that's going to be going through over to this phone again, and I can hit answer, I can hit decline. And then uh, once I hit answer and the phone page refreshes, we can see the call is connected. Now, what I could do also is if I wanted to check the voicemails or anything, I can just hit messages button, and this is going to go to my uh, directory number 4000 because that's the pilot number for the voicemail. That is the voicemail pilot number. And then I'll go ahead and end the call here. But as you can see, there's just a ton of great stuff right here and it's embedded into the phone's webpage. This is awesome. I mean, it's so hard to beat and it's free. I mean, stuff like this costs thousands of dollars to get a license to do this. And Anthony has done it and made it available for us for free. That alone deserves you folks going and checking out his content on the support forums, 
following him on Twitter so that you don't miss out on his other stuff that he puts out there. Uh, again, thank you, Anthony. This is awesome. And I hope other folks out there appreciate this. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.